Welcome everyone. Way down in the outer worlds. Uh, yeah, just me again tonight. Brennan's having his birthday dinner. It was his birthday yesterday. So yeah, it's just uh, just me for now, for tonight. Anyway, he'll be back tomorrow, I'm sure. I know you all miss him so much. Uh, but yeah, we're doing some of the outer worlds. I figured it should be fun. Should be a nice fun stream. I forgot to get Twitch up on my phone. That's fun. Nice long stream tonight as well. Try and hit that thousand hours total. We're at like 940, no, 963 or something at the moment. And I reckon we can make it. It should be alright. Ah, the groundbreaker. Right, what was I doing just when we finished yesterday? I don't quite remember. Yeah, Pavada, come on. Been around powerful machinery all your life. You're always in control, right? You're gonna provide a shirt. Do it. When the shooting 600 cans near molten sell tuna down the conveyor while I'm trying to tune a belt. <laughs> yeah. Stand like me. Just so. Get square. Lean forward. You're not standing like anything. Just equipment. You're just an engineer user. <laughs> Hop, Laris. Okay. We'll try again later. You'll get it. Man, I was really hoping that'd move. Um, yes, what was I doing? What What do we have to do? And how are you doing? Uh, I don't want to do that. You're watching a Christmas show? Well, I, something shocking sounds like it happened. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Who? Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. <laughs> Well, I'm glad it was good. What what were you watching? Like what show was it? What's my mom saying? Mum's telling me there's another COVID outbreak. Ooh, wonderful. And it's up where I am. Terrific. Also, hi, Sal. Oh, Phineas, I have some news. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive... How you doing, Sal? It's gonna be a light stream tonight. I got, I got one of these. Oh, Keep me energized. Alright, Phineas, you can have the whole fucking container. Uh, the board is testing them on human subjects. subjects. The very same. That's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Home for all it is. That sounds familiar. What if I get sick? What? Uh, I told that the subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Sal, I'm not gonna die. 
Also, Brandon's tried streaming before. It's not his thing. He can't pay attention to more than one thing at once. Uh, likewise, I can't do that. Yeah, if I die, Polaris can have the channel. Oh, no, I missed what he said. What did he say? Oh, those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly is Paul trying to accomplish? Uh, something about trying to revive people repeatedly? There's no one you did to me. Well, oh, you didn't phrase me, I guess. You thawed me at your convenience. Colin's on the verge of collapse, the board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. The fucking board. Driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. Thousands. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every work in Halcyon. Yes. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. An escape clause is a plan. Do you Why am I itchy? I'm all sweaty. That's probably why. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. Um... Short of lining up every member it's the death. Ah, it's coming for me. I better get more of this in me before I die. Do you know what's waiting for us on the it just tastes so nice. Mm, apples. There's a way, it's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius! I am. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Exactly what I was thinking. You've read my mind, Phineas. Uh, the hope's really damaged. We have to rent some power from the unreliable. Hmm. Yeah. What if I drink this? I have regular water tonight rather than cordial. Is this better? Tastes like nothing. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? It's got a lot of power. Excellent question, my sharp witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is if we're going to hijack a colony ship, count me in. Yes, excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain. I don't pay Felix. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Tasty. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Hey, well, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I've got some questions. First off, Sal, my day was good, thank you for asking. And your, uh, super juicy juice. Sounds good. Uh. Oh, I could do both of those. I would be down for playing Space Engineers. I fucking love that game. I 
I am gonna be away for like four days, so we. Fucking eye keeps twitching. All day it's been doing it, like right there, there on the underside, of my right eye, twitching all fucking day. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna be like four days uh, away for like four days, so it's not the death. Uh, I could queue up some. It's doing it again. Some videos on YouTube by just splitting each late night stream into like two. So like this one, example, Brenner's not on tonight, so I'm going to be going to like 1am. Uh, could cut it around the 10.30 mark and go play a different game. People aren't going to notice gigantic colony ships slamming into the rings of terror too. Good one, Phineas. Um, yeah, no more questions, I'm ready. No, not really. Alternatively, we can just obliter obliterate it. Uh, yeah. You absolutely should. Ah, well. Have you got a plan of some sort? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. Or she'll just be like, guess they're not doing it. I'll stop drinking that. <laughs> I get it, you want to prepare. The board's going to catch up to me sooner or later. This way I'll have time to set up some particularly nasty defenses. Ooh. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. I'm While excited to see what he puts up. I want to talk about the hope. How can I help? It's a big ship. Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. Hmm. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Uh, just so clear, you know, skip jars aren't meant to be used skip like this. Skip were never designed to be used within a system. But I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you. And that turned out fine. Mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but... Hmm. We'll be fine. I'll be right. Oh, that's all for now. Hey, love it up. Nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. You're too close. Jeez. Ah, oh, fuck. What are we going to put points into, boys? What do you guys think? Do my long guns. There are 200. Damage. Uh, there's no stat for just damage. <laughs> you love this part of the stream? You mean 20 minutes where I sit around going, Oh, fuck. Yeah, what a great time. Determination. I got it up to 50. I'll put 2 into determination. It increases the health of the companion's health by like 10 each time, so it's not too bad. I'll put 2 in this too, because it increases their damage, which is nice. Mm. <laughs> 2 into the back, go that to 60. 20% chance items you repair become pristine, increasing value and durability. That's what we want, we want that. Hmm. Dodge, I don't 
can't dodge that much. Block, not really that useful. <laughs> Medical. Medical would be good. Once I get to the fourth, the fourth drug mixing slot, that's pretty good. Uh, heal him out. We'll put the last three in medical. Or. I don't know, I might put, I'll put one more into inspiration for more damage. And then two into medical. Yes, good. Perks. What perk are we gonna do? No, no, no. 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 Just strap 20% more damage. That's pretty good. Second cutter. Which one? There's only like six of them. Or seven of them. Three from the left one, right? This one? Twenty Companion's ability cooldown for each of your kills. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that one. Alright, oh, no, hang on, do they? No, they don't have perks. Good. That'd be too much. You're not a doctor. Yet. Back to the unreliable. Hey, the Portal 2 stream was a lot of fun last night, by the way. For anyone wondering. Is she? Where is she? Where is she at? Yeah, Felix, why? What's up? You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. Probably not. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 I like that. It. Hope in dark times. Nah, skip job. Get it? Hope? <laughs> like the ship. Write that down. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Skip job. I write that down right where my arm sits. That's gonna rub off all over my arm. You missed Portal? Yeah, I played Portal 2 for like an hour and a half. It'll be up on YouTube tomorrow, though, Polaris, don't worry. Ah, uh, Siri's gonna need yeah, a name, too. About that. Got a list right here. Come on, Felix, what you got? Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of a system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. Mm. I'm partial to that last one. Keep working on it, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always an option for being so rude to Felix? I don't like any of these options. I'm fairly adventurous at Nick and Company. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. It's exactly the sort of thing I would suggest. The so. board, skipping it across the whole damn system. This is gonna be great. I can't wait. It's gonna be great, Felix. I like your attitude. Enough to boost my pay? I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. Felix, I will pay you if you want. I'm sure you've got plans to make. I don't. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature dropkick. The Hope might have cameras. Oh, Felix, don't worry, I'll be making you do that dropkick quite a lot. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go scrub the, uh, the terminal for clues of something. What is this? Logs. Uh, shrink ray. 
Uh, blah, 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 nah. uh, 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 okay. Mm, right. All right, okay. There were clues. Acquire a science weapon on the ground breaker. Ah, we're not the ground breaker. Oh, he has. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Oh, it's fine. I just shut up. Yeah, it'll be right. All right, back to the groundbreaker. The groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. I was going to anyway. Yeah, Polaris, you know Felix's dropkick. It's great. Everyone loves it. I love it. This game really does have long, uh, long loading screens, doesn't it? Make sure my guns are loaded. I'm not going to get in a fight, but it's good to have. for me. I think. Hello again. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. You're always sitting down. Let me see what you've got for tonight. Back to your hard earned Straight wisdom. To the point, eh? All right, then, Straight to the point. Um no no man. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. No, I don't want to leave. I want to. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. No. What do you got? Want a charming? Um. Ooh. So does she have the things? I might buy that. That's only a thousand. So I'll definitely take it. So she doesn't have the, uh... She doesn't have the science weapon. Where am I meant to get it? Gladys's shop, roll records. Gladys? Here. In your I shop? Talk. Old records? Ah. Oh. They're probably a bit there. The old data pack contained incident reports from various Marat security patrols. Most details of the simple finds and dust pertains to crews and wildcat. Blah, 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 I've done something. The science weapon store. Oh yeah. Why didn't I think to go there? Where the fuck? Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. No, you've lost me. Okay. All right. How do I? What? Oh, there's a door here. Fuck. Alright, how do I get up there? I gotta come down from somewhere else? No, I just gotta get up there. I 
I don't know how to do that. I don't know what to do. Oh. No one saw me do that. I all did the right thing immediately. You all saw it. Felix! I'm not meant to be in here. I don't think. No, Outlaw Squad Leader. I might need to murder these people. Feel like to kick him. That's a big robot. We did it. I really hope they were bad guys. That it didn't just kill like four people for nothing. It's probably fine. Jackpot indeed. Let's have a look at that. Prismatic hammer. Hammer Smith was working on a hammer weapon, the, the Pulse Hammer. When his rival company, Aramad Ballistics, stole the plans, rushed its development, and beat them to the market. All the while ridiculing Hammer Smith with a marketing campaign about having no hammers in their weapon line. Hammer Smith executives demanded the ultimate hammer to be produced. This prototype was so expensive that it never entered production. Okay. I'm not going to use that ever, though. Here's the thing. I'm not reading all that. I just did that in case there was some information in there. You all know I don't read all the logs. I would, but it takes too fucking long. At least there's an easy way back out. Is there anything else we're meant to be doing on the ground breaker? No, I guess not. Okay. Back to the ship we go. Fulbrook. View the... Okay. Back to the ship. Did I break the ground yet? No, not yet. I'm working on it though. Man, I want a ship that's better. I've run past the, the entrance. What a fool. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go look at the terminal. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Uh, search, uh, <laughs> mining. Ah, oh, man, that's a lot of information. I'm really glad that I read all that. Uh, Scalia, yeah. Oh. Scalia, Scalia. Landing pad, I guess. Destination reached. Scylla. Scylla. I've been wrong this whole time. Ah, uh, yes, we are here. Good, good, good. Let's go. Felix, Pavati. You know what we're doing. A drone time. Twice the speed, half the price. Wonderful. Ah, oh, man. Wait, there's... That's outside of the zone there, for them. What? Let's go. 
I'll get I'll get that science weapon if it's the last thing I do. And it might be. I mean I doubt it, but like on the off chance that I die randomly. Uh it could very well be. Killing people is easy. Ah, oh, this man's arms came off. The arms always come off. Shame, really. I know I'd like to keep my arms if they were ever blown off. Ah, oh, I missed. Hmm. Good thing I've got this electric gun. It. I don't take that enough damage, really. Why are you still shooting? I didn't even get Felix to kick anything. Or anyone. I feel cheated. What is that? Uh, wrong one. Science weapon. Effects stagger. This weapon was created by an unknown and possibly quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery. It has never been duplicated. But like... So just, just staggers them. Ooh, a terminal. Uh, messages. Yeah, no. It might tell me stuff and then I might really can't be bothered reading through them all. Is there anything else we're doing on this planet? No. Great. Let's head back home. Yeah, Plaris, what do you think? What do you think I should do? Should I split the streams up into into two? Cut it down the middle? Oh, permanently crippled. No, I don't want to. I don't dodge, dodge a lot, but it's good for jumping around a little bit. Yeah, as Sal was saying before, I could like split the streams into two parts. So I'll play like two hours of one game and then two hours and have another one. What do you think? Should I do that? I like the idea of it. Hmm. <laughs> You're looking at nutrition stuff, you fucking nerd. Learning things. Haha, now I'm stuck. And I can't see anything. Free stuff. Yoink. You know, I'm a big fan of free stuff. I can hear things. I can hear things making sounds. Depend on the game. That's a good point. Oh, I missed. Kick him. Easy. Oh. If 
feel like somebody needs to kick him out again. Never mind. They already died. Uh, should the death overtake me? I'm glad you asked my opinion. Yeah, but you didn't give me an answer. What about you, Cell? You think I should do it? I was kind of planning on playing this all night, but, uh... I'm certainly happy to play something else. We haven't done Space Engineers in a long while. And I'd be down for some Terraria. I think I have mods installed for Terraria. I need to check on that. That might be a tomorrow thing. No, I'm busy tomorrow. <laughs> that might be a, um... Oh, what am I not busy? Tuesday? Tuesday thing. Felix, kick a rat. <laughs> Terraria. Man, we just did Terraria. Always Terraria. And by we just did, I mean like six months ago. That was a while back, actually. When did we do Terraria? That was ages ago. Damn. Either way. Don't really want to do Terraria. But, I will keep it in mind. Oh, there's drones. Man, why make it look like I can go this way if I can't? When did I say Terraria? Yeah. Did I say Terraria? I'm bad with words. Fucking fish called me out last night because I said, uh... <sighs> yeah, I was talking about how I got Portal 1 in the orange box and then I said the black box instead. And then he's like, you mean the orange box? I'm like, yeah, that's what I said. He's like, no, it's not. You said the black box. I'm like, I don't think I did. Uh, off to Monarch, I guess. Yes, I meant... Stardew. Right I mean, I could do Terraria. I'm not gonna say no to doing some Terraria. Right then, where am I going? Oh, this fucking place again. Where am I going? So I have to clue this. Oh. It's better taking the elevator than when I first came here and fell right off the edge immediately. That was less fun. Mine. Mine now. Uh, huh. Mine. Mine. I'm doing whatever I want, like I always am. Duncan. Duncan is outside. Who the fuck's Duncan? I don't know no Duncan. We could keep the theme of space games and play some space engineers. I'd certainly be down for that. I don't think you've ever seen any space engineer. It's good fun. I like the space game. Don't 
didn't I get a good gun before? Why am I using that? We'll see. Could always start a poll. Boop. Okay. Start a poll. A poll. You can vote on what you want me to play. Man, my teammates are just too powerful now. They keep killing everyone before I can even get a shot in. <sighs> where you where you vote? You have multiple options. A very, I don't want to say very common, fairly common term. Oh god, there's more! Look at these damn acid fields, for one. One, they're loud. Two, they hurt a little bit. It goes right through my armor. Head right on over. Look at that. Hill goes right down there. Easy. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have more energy drink. It's only 8:15. See, it's only quarter past eight, and we've already been going for 45 minutes. How great's that? Hmm. These ones are a little angry. Hang on. I've got a better gun now. Where is it? It's this one. Felix, kick a bug. Only a quarter past three, oh yeah, only. Gee, still so early in the day. Whatever you're gonna do with all your time at 3 a.m. I was not looking, I was looking on my phone. Now I feel like a real dummy. Ooh, my legs. Ah, oh, my other leg. Luckily, my legs heal quite quickly. I'm not gonna lie, Polaris. It sounds like a super boring time. My streams, like, I know they're quality content and all, but like, reading about nutrition. How do they know where I am? How do they do that? Felix, you better not fucking kill him before I get a chance to. Yeah. Everyone is alright. I'm certainly doing fine. Just get amped by the health, health benefits. Well, you'll probably really not like to know that uh, I haven't eaten a vegetable for several months. <laughs> I don't know how I'm alive. I shouldn't be. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't say you were healthy. Yeah, but you know about the the benefits of it. Probably irritating to know. That I've not eaten healthy for the past four years. Oh, the possible benefits. No, you didn't. You never said the word possible. I can see it right here on my screen. It's still up on the stream. Yeah. 
I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rack. Grass. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. I'm here for a reason. I don't know why. I don't even read what I'm doing. I'm assuming I'm coming for this. But also I'll stay for this. And I'm gonna sell you a bunch of shit I don't want. Like excess guns. So, armor. Uh, easy. Ooh. Man, I can steal one thing from right in front of them. I'm not sure what I want to get. Is this the science weapon store? I mean, it might as well be. I'm gonna take this one, I think. What do you think you're doing? Doing whatever I want. Also take some more ammo, because why not, you know? Can always use some more ammo. <laughs> Mysterious stranger threatens our way of life. Ah, oh, I gotta run so far away. Hello. Hello again. Hello. You wanna buy something? Yes, that's why I'm here. Give me your ammo. Not that though. I want that. Uh, I could always walk. Kick him, Felix. Whack him, Pavoni. Yeah. Oof. Kick him. <laughs> Nothing quite like looting a dozen corpses. Ah, uh, good times. The fuck? How am I meant to get down there? Really glad that didn't kill me. If I stopped eating refined sugar, I would probably be very healthy, but 
it tastes really good and I like it <laughs> what is that unlock uh, you're attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium and Val Dissidents Attack Building. Protect the German, of course. Oh wait, is there more? Unlock. Ah, proceed. Question two. Ugh. You're pursuing one of our many UDL personnel security mega outlets and enjoying a fine selection of employee compliance equipment when you are approached by a stranger. He makes an offhanded comment that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. What do I... What do I do? Uh, why I berate him relentlessly to defend the Chairman's honour. Clearly. Uh, let me see if I can guess this one. Hmm... I'm gonna guess two. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. What do you do? Why, I arrest my spouse and admit my children to a re education program. I was right. Fantastic. Give me that. What is that? Ooh, gloop gun. The development of this weapon was halted when one of the scientists working on it was killed by marauders, and the remaining team realized that no one understood her portion of the work. How the gloop is produced, how it counteracts gravity, and how it creates... conducts electricity is unknown. It what? I need to go fire this or something. Uh, I guess we'll do the, the this one. And our way back to the ship. Shit in the gloop at something. Yes, this will do. <laughs> hmm. It's not my gun. I mean, it is, but like... Quick, Felix, kick him! Quick, buddy, hit him with a big hammer! Quick, me, shoot them! Ah, oh, no man. Shoot them again! Yeah. What did the Queen have on him? A lot of stuff. And it's a dead end. Back me all the way. Really wish I knew where I was going. Wait, hang on, I can cut through the back of the colony. I remember there's a big door there. Ah, some death drink. Mm -mm. You can really taste the death coming on. You guys are seeing all the names popping up on the screen, right? I'm not going crazy. And this gun is... Yeah, quiet. Good. You guys hiding? Good. They don't know where we are. You guys could not attack them. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, I guess. We have a Costco here, I've always wanted to go. And by always, I mean like the last two years since it's been open. Because I want to buy mass amounts of things. There doesn't happen to be a... No, okay, because i got to repair this gun. I suppose I can do it on the fly, can I? I can! Okay, yeah, do that. Okay. 
Man, that's too far away. I'm almost in the free. I gotta have stopped carrying. Just that guy that knows. Okay. It's in Edmonton. There's seven in Edmonton. Seven. It's just the dug left. Time to get to loot. Yeah, we're definitely space pirates. I hate to admit it, but we are. We kill everyone we come across, and then we take all their shit. Like, Oh, is that it? Oh. Okay, is that it? I like doing the sneaky thing. The sneaky sneaks. I'm using a mouse keyboard. Indeed I am. You can hear the, hear the buttons. Nice and clackety. It's not the loudest ones, they don't make noises all the time. They're soft keys. Yeah, they're brown switches, I think. I don't know, I was never... I was never too into mechanical keyboards or knowing every single thing about them. Lachlan was obsessed with them for some reason at some point. You have Cherry MX Blacks, nice. That means nothing to me. Heavy press. Okay. Yeah, I remember before uh, before I bought my keyboard, I was like, I guess I'll do research into the different key types. And so I'd like look up on YouTube and they'd be like, oh, here's the difference between them all. Like, you know, these are louder and these are quieter. And they'd like press them and they'd all sound exactly the same. I'd be like, I don't fucking know the difference here. Hmm. A shiny one. Uh, gray is light, red is middle, and black is heavy. Alright. I get what you're saying. I get you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I gotta fix this place. Oh, well, you don't let me just run off the edge? What is this shit? I also have a color scale that's for noise. Stella Bay. Ah, Stella Bay. Let's buy some ammunition. And then we'll leave. Well, there's nothing else for me to do here.
bounce back. Oh man, I want to be on that. I don't know, it's already down. Should have looked. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting to know. Um, I don't have my keyboard box in there, otherwise I'd have a look at what I have. What do I have in there? No, it's in the other room. I think they. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck they are. If you stopped in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? No, Ada. Christ! Ugh. Uh. That makes words, yeah. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital launch, <sighs> Captain. Now I kinda wanna go. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Kinda wanna go into my room and see what they are. I don't get the the ones that are like super loud. Like you can click them and they make a very audible click noise. That'd piss me off immediately. I'd be like, it's so annoying. MX Blue, MX Blues, yes. Uh, I'll send the corrupt traffic signal. Okay. Terrific. Alright, I guess I'm returning to Ada. Then I'm suppose I'm gonna call what's her name and tell her that I've sent the signal. It's the tactile. Yeah, but they're so fucking loud. Like, I don't mind the clicky feeling, but like... I gotta be that loud. Seven, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. She's got my I'm signal. Impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Lockin keeps sending me things on Snapchat. Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. No. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. I don't wanna go there. Byzantium's a big place. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Yeah, to call it back. I guess we're going then, actually. Um, where do they want to go? Guess we're going here. Could be a trap. Who knows? Something just exploded at the back of my ship. But I wanted to repair. All equipped, yes. And tinker with some of my weapons. Mostly this one. That was a lot of fucking money I just spent. Fun times barrel. No, you know what? We're gonna go get all the weapon mods we have. What can we put on? No. Speedy. Red 515. Critical damage plus 25 though. That's pretty good. Crit damage up 130. Oh. Up, up 32%, that's pretty good. I like that one. And then... Zap, Ray, Magnum. Magazine size 50, that's not too bad. I think Shock would be best. Yes. Or do you have something on this? What about my armor? So no, I don't want that. And the current's the geographic scanner. I don't have one on this one, okay. Dialogue, tech skills. Dialogue and leadership skills, melee skills, defense. 
นะผมเล่นควาดเบดเบดอัมนี่ตอนนั้นน่าสนใจน่าสนใจนะไม่ทวิชอีกแล้วนั่นสนุกอนาคตอยู่ในช่วงเวลาที่ลูกค้าบอกว่าฉันจะทำคอสตูมคอสตูมมีดแมคานิคีย์บอร์ดให้คนและฉันก็โอเคยังไม่ถูกไหมโอเคฉันรู้ว่าเขาจะมีความรู้สึกเหมือนฉันฉันแค่ดื่มน้ำแล้วเดี๋ยวเข้าไปเลยนี่คือผมที่ดีไปแล้วไปยามาและนี่ฉันคาดว่าเอ่าเดี๋ยวไอทวิชที่เหลือของการเสียใครที่ผมเป็นที่นี่นี่คือที่ผมฆ่าทุกคนที่เมื่อกี้ฮ่าฉันรู้นี่ฮัลโหลไม่รู้ว่าคุณคิดว่าคุณจะต้องเดินทางกับคุณคนเก่าๆให้ดีขึ้นหรือไม่ก็ได้ฉันจะต้องเป็นคนที่ถูกต้องที่สุดที่จะต้องเป็นคนที่ถูกต้องที่สุดที่จะต้องเป็นคนที่ถูกต้อง I understand you've infiltrated the ministry. Death is so much worse than Black Death. How so? Must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. Yeah, we know. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Can we? Now, nutrition is already. I don't want it. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. Stone, please. Ch chunky toast. <laughs> well, thank you, Brennan, for gifting yet another sub. I've never even heard of chunky toast, but uh, congratulations on the sub. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. Why are they having such trouble with food? That's your solution. The whole colony on ice. People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. No, Felix probably will. The work I'll make him do it. Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony's on the verge of collapse, but there is a way to save it. I don't believe you. Uh, we need. Just tell me what needs to be done. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. I don't fucking Thanks care. Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Yeah. Operations have ground to a halt. You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. <sighs> Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town. Sort of taste, no gross plasticky taste. taste to it. Are you out of your mind? We're not going to murder a town of innocent people. I'll definitely murder a town of innocent people. Exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. Yes, sir. You got a new chair? I, I was. Someone it? has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. <laughs> oh, I wasn't listening. Fuck. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. Uh, blah blah. Yeah, we did that one. Edgewater needs to go. What about the tennis fibers? Oh, we're not gonna do that. You do exactly as you told you. I've shot. Exploitation. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now it's time for. Uh, uh, what did Edgewater do to deserve this? When you diverted power to the botanical lab, you spelled the end of Edgewater. The town is still hanging on. 
Still living off whatever meager resources we send them. So sending them stuff then. Every passing day, Edgewater leeches more of our limited resources. The town is a rotting limb, and we must be surgeons. The board's responsible for this colony, it's your fault. Because we were negligent. You're right, the colony can't possibly feed itself. And it's our fault. This is all a mess. And the only way we're cleaning it up is by taking action. I'm not asking Sounds like a pretty sweet chair, so not gonna lie. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Hmm. Just like that, Edgewater's not productive anymore, so I just wipe it off the planet. We don't have any other option. Sure you do. The colony is on the verge of collapse, and we send him another power fucking thing. And the answer's no. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. Mm. I rather like you, and I, I don't like you at all. Shot for disobeying a direct order. That won't do much. Go to hell, Sophia. Fuck I'm you, Sophia. Piece of shit. I was so sure you had potential. Yikes, yikes. <laughs> ah. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fight all those people coming out of here now. Alright. Let's get to killing, I suppose. Make sure my gun's loaded. Come on, guys. You're both ready. What's this do? Haha! Man, this thing really only shoots like one at a time. Not shoots three. Okay. Felix, kick him. What's the most damage? This one, I suppose. Right? Guys, I wanted to kill him. Fuck. How good the door opens back up. Time to loot everything they have. <laughs> it's my loot now, idiots. It's a chair. It's not a man. Why am I so slow? I'm filled up with shit. That makes sense. Well, there were vending machines nearby, but I don't really want to sell my stuff. When we get on the ship, I'll dump off all the all the extra things I have. And then we'll go find a shop, I guess. Though I have more skill points available. And I don't know what to put them into. Two more in that. Let's go two more medical. Hmm. Nah. How can nah lock picking? Go two in lock picking. Nah. Good enough. Also, Polaris, you sit on the ground. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. But get a chair. Don't sit on the ground, that's not good for your back. Alright, uh, 
Uh, where am I going though? Let's grab feedback. I don't believe you. Well, now I guess to go to the hut. Who's? I've killed a lot of people. Yes. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Okay. Uh, what's gonna happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Ooh. Or the Sun. How much left of the game? I have no idea. Uh, well that's all for now, I guess, Ada. You yeah, I got... Yeah. We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Well, they want me to kill a whole colony, so I fucking shut up. Yeah, I got no idea. I looked up how long it takes to finish this game, and it said like on a on a sort of relaxed, relaxed 100% run, it can take up to about 20 hours. And I've got to be, I've got to be reaching about that. I can't check how long I've been playing it for, but. It's gotta be about that. I would say maybe, maybe one more stream's worth. Are you an enemy? I think you might be. <laughs> ah, no, there's people. Felix kick. Hang on. Someone hit me with something. Is it you? Is that everyone? <laughs> Funny, finish him off. Yeah, fuck him up. things aside. I could upgrade my weapons again, but it would cost me quite a bit. Yeah, it's gonna cost me literally all my money if I upgrade this again. It's only gonna get me seven more damage. Also, Plaris, get a desk or something. Fuck. That's gonna be like a good desk. Bard. How do we get in there? Is it you? Wait, hang on. What? Ah. Hmm. Free shit. You hate desks. Why? What? Man. Desks are good. It's a great place for storing things. You can have your mouse and your keyboard, your screens, your death drink. All fantastic things. Conveniently, right on a desk. <laughs> I mean, you're on the outside. I mean, expert hacker. Damn. Boop. That's a log or something. Ooh, a knife. Engineer's log. Hull starving to death thing isn't at all at all it's cracked out to be. On the upside, the bathrooms are the cleanest they've been since we left port. It's made a job a hell of a lot easier. Okay, well. <laughs> you there. No, you. I'm looking good. I 
Where am I going? All right. <laughs> a lot of robots in here. More than I thought they'd be. No. Um. The statement's false. protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer. Man, paradoxes. What are you gonna do? Everything I say is false. Paradox prevention has temporarily disabled this unit's auditory processing. Thank you for your cooperation. I guess this is where the, the game started, and I was in one of these pods. Probably in that one missing there. Ah, it's good to be back. Back in the old ship I was frozen in for some reason. I don't remember why. I don't remember what the story of this is, really. Right. Uh, Alright. You have already been identified as non standard personnel. And now for my records, you can fucking shut your face. Error. Binary detected. <laughs> Binary has been deprecated since the invention of anti clear patented trippinary language. Trippinary. <laughs> More bits for your bits. <laughs> uh, th thanks for the update. We appreciate your cooperation. Have a pleasant day. That was easy. Now where the fuck am I going? Auxiliary power. Man, what is this? It's logs. Can I stop being in a restricted area for like a minute? I, I'm gonna have to fight everyone in a second and I don't want to do that. Or that I'm gonna become real sneaky in a moment. And there's only like one other person here. Easy. Ah, I suppose I probably should have done this from the start. But I didn't know I had to do it. Alright, uh. Patch, yes. Ah, uh, exact reactor's now on. Status. Okay, power status. Alright. Uh, great. Fantastic. Okay, now I gotta get back. <sighs> also, Flora, stop fucking showing off all your, your fancy achievements in life. <laughs> you really look at Flora, he's the smartest man in the world and he's climbed a mountain and he's, he sits on the floor there. It's the only thing I've got on you. Uh, reroute communications through the unreliable. Error. Hope crew data not found. Identify yourself. As in one of the pods. Hibernation pod access is illegal. State your employer. You're my employer. Um. Rizzo. Register. A fine of 10,000 bits will be assessed in your corporation's ledger for failure to follow proper hibernation pod procedures. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> I have a chair. It's it's an all right chair. It's not that great, honestly. But as far as chairs go, it's better than no chair. So, in fact, I would say it's better than most chairs. A log. Today I found a finger lodged in one of the many security mechanicals. I caught the damn thing scratching on my floors because the finger was stuck in one of the leg joints and it couldn't move properly. Who 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 lost a finger and didn't report it? I didn't see that being sealed. 
So where where the fuck am I going? I'm not sure what I'm meant to be doing, honestly. Skip the hub. Uh, use the main control console to decide where to send the hub. Main control console. But where is... So I gotta... I'm up here, I gotta go down and in, okay. Down. No, up and cover. Why, I'm you, of course. Ah. Yeah, I already did that one. Called me an old fashioned spell. Yeah, it's good. Alright, where the fuck do I need to go? Straight across. Then this way, but it's locked. But I have the key card. An elevator. Exactly what they think I would use. Not let me go surfing though. Man, why would you want to go surfing this time? Ah, oh, it's a nice... It's a nice warm negative 30 outside. Go for a nice surf. Hi guys. Don't mind me. Just a regular guy. That's the hub's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Man, that's a lot of shit floating by the front of the ship. Alright, ah, ba 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 ba, comms, patch Ada through. Hello, Ada. Hello, Uh, before I do this, tell me, Ada, am I doing the right Probably thing? Not, but don't let that stop you. I probably won't. Our could use some beefing up. Yeah, I'm sure you know what you're doing. 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 Yeah, I'm sure you know <laughs> Man, why is it so warm there, but it's like negative 20 where you are? That's much better, Ada, thank you. Skip the hope to Terra 2! Go! Do I go see it happen? Do it! Worst ways to go out, I suppose. Nice knowing you, boss. Nice knowing you too, Felix. You've been the best crewmate. Affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? Yes. That is what my captain intends. Yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yeah, we know. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. They won't, it'll be fine. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Let's go. Do it. Yes, we do gotta sit. Nice. You feel like this is the end? It's not. <laughs> I sure hope it is not, anyway.
We haven't even gone to one of the planets yet. It's the end. I don't think it is. It'd be a really fucking weird end though. Ah, terrific. See, so that worked out fine. The ship's still intact. It doesn't appear to be on fire or smoking or exploding. Hey, you're not on the screen. Oh, we're gonna do it again, Pafati, don't worry. Should we kill everyone on the ship? What do you guys think? We can either... We can either walk out of here or... Kill everyone. I only, I only kill them if they like poor hot dogs. No. Don't kill everyone? Nah, okay. What are you, Brandon Cell? You still here? We still got two more opinions to go. Kill them with like poor dogs. Oh, okay. Don't kill them. Damn. Well, it'd be a tie either way, so we're not doing it. Uh, mind your own business. What's your problem? You. Relax. I'm not looking for a fight. I'm looking for a fight. Come at me. Alright, let's get over there. I guess we're not killing everyone today. Hang on, what? H hang on, go back, what was that? Hang on a second. Ah, oh, it's the small cryopods, never mind. Thought of something interesting for a second. <laughs> you can't determine if a robot likes poor cut dogs or not there, so what would the outcome be on that? Can you face the other way so I can pickpocket you? You see the latest incident contract? I can't believe that Mathon's still out there. Yeah, can you turn around? Like, move over there or something? No, oh, okay. Uh, ask his friends and no program. I mean... Yeah, that makes sense. If you find a program with robots and be like, do they like poor cut dogs? And he's like, I like poor, poor cut dogs, and then, you know, you hit him with a... right in the mouth. Uh... Then I guess we kill all the robots. All of them. Every last one of them. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. Ah. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Yes, please. Ada, that'd be nice. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. Phineas, I told you what they were gonna do. You told me to do it. They capture me if we can't communicate again. There's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. You hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. That's fine. Got it. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... I don't think Phineas is getting another one. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? Yeah, Ada. How can I be of assistance? Um... Goodbye. That's all for the... Spoilers, what? Alright. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Well, there's the hype, but I don't see any other ships around here. Uh, 
Alright. Let's go kill everyone. This place seems relatively fine. I don't know what's going on. Here they come. Who, who comes? I don't get when they're blinded, they can still see. Whack him! Kick him! Oh, no, no, Hey, live it up. Hey, look, a leg. An arm. Phineas doesn't need this stuff, right? Probably not. No, I'm sure it's fine. Some untextured mines. Oh, good. Ah. Uh. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Lawrence. <laughs> it's the worst joke. Alright. It's this time of the stream again. Points. What am I doing? I guess I'll throw a couple in this, a couple in this, a couple more in this, and I don't know, some more in. Just two more in medicine. We got one point left. Where should I put more medicine? Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Perks. I'm gonna get the 20% uh, more damage one. Also, Felix and Bavadi both have perks as well. Cooldown, reset, cooldown, kill, that's pretty good. Plus 30% damage, also good, let's do that. And Pavati can have also, I guess, that... Uh, but I accessed the computer. I'll search the area for passcode. Okay, well. I'm gonna go in here. Is it this note stapled to the wall? <laughs> I mean, that's good to know. Nah, it's locked. Nah. Necklace, nah. Aha! Mine now. Hmm. When anyone was like, like, hey, I think I've got enough medicine for like all the people. For always medicine. I mean, fair enough. I found it. Enter passcode. If you are seeing the screen, I, Phineas V. Wells, have been pre. whatever that says, kidnapped and very probably incarcerated. And by. our uh, incowardly government of Halcyon in the prison fortress of Tartarus. I've not already been executed for charges leveled against me. I hope the person reading this terminal will find a way to finish my work or rescue me. Preferably the latter. Fair enough. Uh, this screen continues. This screen constitutes my last will and testament. Command. My fucking eyes twitching again. Uh, I commend my body and my belongings to the icy depths of the aether. If this is Nick, I've prepared an emergency care package located in the hidden panel. Unlock the panel from my terminal and claim its contents immediately. Ooh. Ah. No. I 
If anyone wants to read these, they can pause it on YouTube. Uh, where's the hidden panel at? I'm assuming that's it there? Yeah. Nice. Those were the two words. Well, what's this? Well, I suppose now I've got to go rescue him, don't I? I didn't loot the bodies before. What was I thinking? I mean, that wasn't a body, I just looted it for fun. Okay, yeah, before Polaris, when you said uh, it was the end of the game, I feel like you might have been a bit closer than I thought you were. Okay. How long is that? Ten minutes? Those board goons kidnapped Mr. Phineas and hold him in Tartarus. How are we going to get him out? And here we are. Time is on. The notion of busting him out. Entertaining the nation of busting a nut. We're missing a person. Who is it? We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we have any hope of saving the colony. Uh, what's the bad about the labyrinth? Captain, come on. Even I've heard of the biggest prison the colony's ever seen. And on some occasions, I literally live under rocks. Okay, I was frozen for 70 years. Nothing. Wouldn't be right. The armed surveillance protocols on a maximum security prison planet are highly sophisticated. As such, escape sites no, he's are here. quite impossible and dangerous. I am programmed to warn you whenever you have yeah. inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Oh, we're breaking into Tartarus. simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. Why? He's my favorite. Though. Well. <laughs> we're doing it, let's go. Got my trusty tossball stick, got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. That's it, Felix. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Maybe. Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. <laughs> Well, first off, yoink, then, let's go break into a prison. Blank are about to assault the labyrinth on Tartarus and determine the fate of the Halcyon colony. Saved made up this point can only finish the main story on Tyra's side quests and downloadable content such as huh. Would Blank like to continue? No. I'm gonna make a save. Well, now we've saved, make sure, save again, just to be sure.
Yes. Yep. <laughs> I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Latin. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. I like to see him try. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Hmm. Is there anything useful about Tartarus? Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to execution, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your captain sent in with me. In the event that you do not return... Fuck. Oh, damn it. Give Brennan his fucking points back. Why'd you have to choose such a damn common word? Bastard. Uh, refund points back to user. And then the rest of them are probably completed. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Uh. Mm, you promise not to leave without me? I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. What coincidence? Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of EDL corporate policy. I'm allowed to be here. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Mm, how long will that take? I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, That'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. First off, uh... 876, 654... No, 800... 87, 654, 1652. Divided by 24 is... So Ada won't leave here for a hundred years, if my math is right. Ah, uh, well, if you're just gonna kill me, why bother with a ticket? Protocol is important, sir. The sentencing of one crime does not preclude the sentencing of another, technically speaking. That's fair. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. I will have a pleasant day. Thank you. How can I be of assistance? Uh, Ada. Um, continue our conversation Thank before. Captain. I would rather not discuss Alice Hawthorne today. I am here. <laughs> Ada, it's been like Is a year since then. On your mind? Uh, Are you sad when you remember Hawthorne? No, I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has nearly disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. It Fair. was my fault he died. Not really, I crushed him. How so? I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. Uh, just, uh, why, why'd you do that? Let's talk about something else. How can I, be of assistance? I want to know how it's your fault that he died when I'm the one who crushed him with a pod. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, <laughs> oh, will you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Who's coming with me? 
Felix Pavani. Yep, sounds good. Let's go. That's a nice light breeze coming in from outside. It's quite nice and cool. I like it. Ooh, that's a lot more. That's a lot more health than I was expecting. Mm, that's a lot more health than I was expecting. Nah, okay, so they all have a lot of health. Basically, is what's going on. Also, am I max level now? Can I see that somehow? Details. No, I'm not. Okay. Damn. I suppose there's a valid idea lying around here somewhere, sir. So. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, well. What about Danny? Why are you too warm? Polaris, open up your window. Hello? It's me. A man. I'm here to kill you all. Possible card. A man, you say? Indeed. The very same. <gasps> A mouse! I need like a flashlight. This game's dark as fuck sometimes. Why do they have firelands down here? Oh, it's not. Where, where, the, where the hell am I going? Where am I going? I kind of wanted to kill everyone on my way in. Who's here? Hey, I don't know you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, that's a lot of people. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. They kill really quickly. How are we gonna do this? Oh, come on! Alright, none of this sneaking around underneath shit. We'll just run in and guns blazing. Cause you know, what else are we gonna do? Hi guys. Who? I'm not a bounty hunter. And the spread on this gun is, uh, leave something to be desired. I'm gonna let everyone else do most of the work, I think. Hmm. Well, this is bad. Quick, Felix, kick him! Uh, no, I'm still not finished the Mandalorian. I'm up to episode 4 of season 2.
Ah, oh, fuck. Heavy gun works a lot better. So here's the plan. Wait for them to come near me. And then I... Okay. We're doing alright. Yeah, I might have got around to finish... To watching it today, but uh, yeah, much like Brennan, I'm watching it with my girlfriend and her internet no, no, internet, her power cut out, so that was unfortunate. And we were like halfway through a fucking episode, too. Now I'm all slow. On the plus side, save, and on the other plus side, I'm heading back to the ship to dump shit off. I don't know, I guess I could just dump weapons here. Or armor. No, what do, I, what do I have a lot of? Is it just this shit? God, I've got so much of it. Ah, I feel like sorting through all this again. Value, weight, value to weight ratio, name. Drop that. All of it. Drop that. Drop those. Drop those. Drop all those. Alright. I'll head back to the ship. We'll dump off fucking everything. Anything in the other? Oh. The <laughs> yeah, but it's Sam will clean it. Sal, do you know how to update? Um, I don't really want that. That one. That one's fine. We'll keep that. Yeah, Sal, do you know how to update the stream title yet? All of you are fucking weird. And by all of you, I mean specifically Sal and Brennan. Adrenaline time. Alright, let's go fucking kill a man. Maybe. Let's go maybe kill a man. Hey, look, milk. Shouldn't there be bodies everywhere? Jeez, shit. I'm stealing everything. You can't stop me. <laughs> Fools. I'm gonna save again though. Heavy ammo, good. Gimme, give gimme. Give 
doing that. Uh, I gotta get a boat. Okay, well, I'll, I'll change it. Now. Bray, breaking out of. How do you, how do I spell the title of this world? Ta, Taurus. Can I look at the the map? Ta, Ta, Tartarus. Oh yeah, update. Give me all of it. I want it all. Alright. We're only really breaking out, are we? We're breaking in. Why can I not bring more than two people with me? Hello? This place looks horrible. I hate it here. No, about a second, I think. Let's save again. Alright, bye, Brandon. Have a good night. Have a good rest. And have fun at work tomorrow. And I shall see you tomorrow afternoon. Do let me know before you leave, though, so I can kind of get a rough estimate of when you'll get here. I am laying the way, Felix. Don't worry. I wish I knew where I was going. So sublights also arrive now. Yeah? Going to bed at 9 30? Yeah, because he has to wake up at 5. Ah, oh, my legs. Five's in 24 minutes, you work at first. Ah, fuck! <laughs> it's good thing we saved before. Continue. I hope that, I hope that puts me where I want to be. It does. Alright. So here's the plan. We run in. Guns blazing. Much like last time, but this time we don't get dead. Probably, yeah. You always pay my debts. This is a hammer. Hey, who's doing that? Let's go. Cool. 
Quick, Felix. <laughs> I'm fighting you too. See, now they're up there. Come on, sublet crew, what the fuck are you doing? Up what? Damn. Let's try that again. Uh. <laughs> this is such a pain in the ass. Why do they have to make the last level of the game so difficult? <laughs> I guess I do get help. What, what do you mean? Well, I got the one option. I mean, I can go this way. Sublight has arrived. Hey, kid. This just puts me in the same place as before. I suppose I could switch it after my gloop again. And gloop a few men. Stop electrocuting me. Ah. Uh, I get what you're saying now. I know what you're talking about. Someone just fucking killed Felix. It was you. you okay, Captain? Right. We're good. We're all up on ammo, we're all up on things. Felix and Pavadi are doing okay, they could probably use a bit more health, but it's fine. It heals up them too, I'm not just doing this for fun. Alright. Saving it, because I don't want to walk that distance and heal again. Who's there? Oh, no ooh, vending machines. Uh, yeah, I'll take those, I'll take those, and those. And these. Okay, sell some shit, grab some inventory space, just all this line, and everything after that. Oh, and that, and that. No, we're right. Let's go. Now let's go. Let's save again. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Hmm. Oh, the sub like this. Okay. 
Is this one shooting me still? No, it's just the purple stuff. We'll deal with more thugs when we get back. There's plenty of sub like guys everywhere. Alright. That's great. Actually, what did that say? That's great. Sealed. But I need to get in there. Do I need to go up? You're confusing me again. That's the last one. Come on, Felix. Heal faster. I can't be going through all my fucking shit just healing. It's good enough. Safe. Other door is healed. Funny. Funny man. Ooh. Convenient. Uh, repair all I have. Yes. Wonderful. What do you sell? We might be able to upgrade Bavadi's armor. 29. No, that's so much lower. What about my armor? 22. No. Weird, I don't like that. Ooh, there's more. I don't think I really need more ammo. I'll probably stop buying some. <laughs> uh, we're going to the pit. Man, what am I gonna play after this? Sal, are you still awake? You still there? So Phineas is somewhere in here, I'm assuming. Try that again, but let's reload all my stuff beforehand. So the game sound disappeared again. It's done that a few times. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's save again, so I don't need to reload again next time. Let's get out. Let's do this. Nice and easy. Let's fuck them up. Like this man. Sneak attack. Bang. Kick him. Never even saw it coming. No one else even knows. Actually, I might be able to get everyone like that. How much health do you have? This is proving to be increasingly easy.
You guys want to come at me? Bam. Have fun. How are they immune to my anti-gravity? Wow, apparently they're fucking immune to me shooting too. Yeah, Felix, we can do that again. Sure. Let's do that again. Yeah, boss? What's up? Uh, no man. <laughs> Let's go. This is mean, I guess. I don't know how you get immune to anti gravity, but I mean, they did it. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know, the MSR trips. Okay, cool. Oh, I didn't get to kill him. Really? Fuck, who exploded that? Some people. Wasted company ammo. What? These guys are all dressed like Felix. I mean, I guess Felix is dressed like them. He's wearing their brand of armor, so. How do I get over there? I don't need to, I guess. I just leave. Works for me. Dun, 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 dun. Ant spaces choice. Move. Save. Can't save in a battle. Fighty, get him. Oh, Felix, get him. Oh, okay. Okay. That was fun. You're, you're right, Felix. Whichever one you are. There you are. You, you blend in with everyone else. Alright. Heal him up. Come, Fighty, heal some faster. Make sure my weapons are loaded. Good. This one's not. Good. Save. And thought that was a different area. Either way. I thought it was still my hammer. Man, you switch out your hammer for the fucking gloop gun. What? Kick him. No, no, no. Negative 32, fuck. And your window's open. You crazy man. What was that? What was that? Oh, I feel like so. Smack. Yeah, smack him. Fuck him up. Who's doing that? It's no one. It's just doing that. 
da, 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 da. It's Spacer's choice. All right. What do we got here? Unsealed door. Nice. Glad that was a thing that just happened. Let's save real quick. Oh. Oh. Messages. Cameras. Yeah, I don't feel like reading all that. Yeah, I don't feel like reading all that. <laughs> I was mildly confused. <laughs> Fool. Ah, you've been killed. Hmm. That's the last of them. It's in Guardians of the Galaxy, is it? Not much of a choice, Felix. Save. After all you've done, all the work you've destroyed, all the money you've cost me. Yes. Your misguided crusade has doomed Halcyon. Has it though? Doomed? Phineas and I are saving the colony. Damn is ludicrous. We have steps, action items, budgets, and reports. All he's got. He's a guilty conscience and lofty dreams. Their plans literally just I'll well, just freeze everyone. Other circumstance, I'd admire your boldness. Hmm. In this one, however, I have only two words for you. Fuck off. No, nah, that's I'm coming in there, I'm gonna kill you. There's no need for hostility. No call for you. You unbelievable bastard. Excuse you. Wasting her time with you, but you killed her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cordon, uh. bankrupted. Thankfully, you're in a prison already. Find the nearest cell and wait until I'm done here. Then I'll drag you to the executioner myself. Oh. Uh. A felony? I've made a terrible mistake. Please don't arrest me. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. Do you know what I do to people it who is. employ the lowest, most base form of humor? Give him a high five. I fire them. Yeah. Alas, I wasn't high. You are woefully unemployed. I'll have to do the next best thing and have you killed. In Fair. the next room is the finest auto mechanical purveyor of death ever made. Try not to scratch the paint with your skull. It is fucking expensive. I'm gonna go scratch the fuck out of that paint. I'll be there before you know it. No way to get in there and kill you. It's gonna be the highlight of my year. Uh, this one, I suppose. Man, that's not even that fancy looking. But we definitely should. Save. And I definitely should make sure my guns are loaded. And I'm definitely gonna save closer here because I don't really want to walk down the stairs again. And I'm definitely gonna save here because I don't want to walk out the door again. <laughs> Boop! What if you will? Ah, oh, there's a big tank on the back of it. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. No one told me there'd be lots of drones. 
Come on, launch at me. Come on. Come on, launch at me. Right, hit him with the America. Ah, uh, Felix. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry, I was scratching myself. That was easy. Oh, that's everything. Barely even a scratch. The scratch hands back. Yeah, I just had an itch here. It's not because I'm dying. It's pretty fancy. Ooh, this is real fancy. Hello. I have an idea. There we go, this. Ooh, shrink ray, that'd be fun. Oh. No, I wanna do that again. <laughs> I'm scratching again. Ah, oh, Polaris, you're right, it's the death, it's coming for me. Uh, let's leave the ray gun this time. Let's, we'll shrink him down. And then we'll whack him with the hammer. How's that sound? We'll save here, that way we can do it a few times. Like, we'll come in and be like, kick him! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go again. Hey, <laughs> say so tiny. Yeah. Okay. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Fairly, I imagine. You lunatic. You broke into the board's own fortress and killed the chairman just to rescue one doddering old man. Yeah, why not? You are absolutely out of your mind. And I can't begin to thank you enough. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh... You and the board never stood a chance against me. Ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony. And you saved my life. I've done a lot of things. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save house. Weird noise outside. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. Oh, I don't like the sound of that at all. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Hmm, okay. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Hold on, Doc. Are you telling me the Earth went dark three years ago, and the board's just been covering this up? They've been incredibly effective at concealing the truth. Right now, the only people in the colony who know are standing in this room. How does no one else know? You mean, we're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? The we fact. can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. Uh -huh. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. You must begin the revival <laughs> process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds. And then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. Sounds like a good plan. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? I don't want to. you help us? Uh... <laughs> Someone has to run the colony, I'm the only competent you person left. A word of from me. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. 
If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. We're free! Our future is uncertain. Although we'll probably just continue running by the same laws, I imagine. Exciting, isn't it? Probably the same thing as before. The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board. But that's story. not the armor I wear. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony. Like the one that was shown just before. Come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists hey, I got the achievement for completing woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. I imagine it would be. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Sanjar's civil liberties and worker-centric policies were slow to catch on with the other corporations. But as Halcyon began its long, arduous journey toward recovery, many of Terra 2's smaller townships started adopting MSI's alternative corporate structure and eventually became entirely self-sufficient. In the coming years, many of these I'm gonna get a glass water bottle. to eat by, where otherwise they might have starved. Bolstered by her status as savior of humanity, Lilia Hagen ushered Sublight Salvage to a new golden age. Her company grew bolder and more transparent over time, muddying the line between lawful and criminal for the entire colony. The Sublight family would thrive for years to come. The collapse of Edgewater left its workers bereft of any purpose in life. Most of them made their way to Adelaide McDevitt's camp, hoping to ingratiate themselves into her favor. Adelaide accepted only a few to her community. The rest were turned away, and likely died of starvation. Nevertheless, Adelaide's camp grew into a well-established town. Adelaide McDevitt refused to cooperate with the ongoing effort to save Halcyon from collapse. A sympathetic deserter stole a copy of her research and delivered it to the Hope's scientists. It is unclear how useful Adelaide's research was, an optimistic estimate suggests her work may have bought Halcyon another few years of survival. Adelaide would never know. She died that winter. Good. Under Fuck. the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's tradition. I gotta put my phone in. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark God, time. Can you imagine getting a job? Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Millstone. <laughs> the grand I'm looking for a job. No one around me hires. Never came. It sucks. I don't have a car. I can't go anywhere. For the colony, 
No celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. As much as he enjoyed yes, his aboard the unreliable, the vicar known as Max eventually decided That's, I've been to trying to get my lessons for like five fucking years. To live out the life he had sought so long to create. He knew there were many in the colony who carried burdens much worse than the ones he had struggled with. And he devoted himself to easing their suffering wherever he could. He only ever took up arms again to defend the defenseless. Unshackled from a lifetime of striving and fighting the universe and himself, Vicar Maximilian de Soto was finally at peace. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the Groundbreaker. And Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and June Lei were never far apart. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. She formed the Caron Group, an MSI subsidiary of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide, or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories, could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. That sounds the good. unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? <laughs> Minister Clark was released from house arrest, and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. Dr. Wells was able to revive many more scientists and engineers than he first expected, thanks to the additional batch of chemicals you stole from the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Wells never forgot about the human lives that were lost in acquiring these chemicals. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. That's the narrator. Today, also, the people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. <laughs> Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon, but for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Yeah, what a lot You brought an end to the chaos on Tartarus and proved yourself the most capable leader left in the colony. You administered the colony in your own image. It's the night order. With yeah. the old power of the board destroyed, a new government We've just of finished the game. Rose, with you at its center. With your steady hand, you guided Halcyon through the turbulent years soft. that were to follow, and helped ensure the survival of the colony until the end of your days. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. 
All we know for certain is this. The name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. Well, that was the Outer Worlds. And I had a lot of fun. It did kind of just end. It, it wrapped up very quickly. I was expecting a lot more from it. But overall, I had a, had a very good time. Ugh. Oh, I thought the animation leader was John Stewart. I'm supposed to say the fuck. Um, yeah, a lot of fun overall. Quite enjoyable. Good story. Good fun game. Wasn't a. Wasn't as long as I was expecting it to be. Bit bit shorter. But overall, good time. <laughs> I was really expecting like another maybe two or three hours left of the game. I wasn't expecting it to be like, yep, now it's over. Uh, oh, wait, last mission, let's go. But yeah, really just, it really just kind of ended all of a sudden, didn't it? Yeah, overall, good game. Thoroughly enjoyed enjoy it. I'll probably give it a, like a, is that like an eight out of 10? Sounds about right. Eight and a half, pretty good. Pretty good game. What would I what would I change about it? What would game's too fucking loud in turn down a little. Not just you guys, but also for me. I don't know what I'd change. I'd probably give a bit more variance in the weapons and armor you can pick up. Because like we picked up what, three weapons. And then when we hit like level fifteen we picked up three different weapons and we just used those till the end of the game. So it didn't really have like any any sort of big progression. <laughs> I roll it. Okay. I do see because I remember reading a review when it came out, and people. Well, I remember reading what someone said online about it when it came out, saying like, you know, it it didn't have as much choices and options as they were hoping for as it was pretty much just like take your pick between three different types of armor and there you go and it did have you know it did have light medium and heavy variants of each armor color but that was it all the armors were the same they looked the same they acted the same they gave you the same benefits and uh... unbenefits so i probably change that up a little bit maybe have each different armor brand have different perks. There are a few more. Different guns. Different like tiers of guns. Cause like I'm level 30. I don't know. Get out of way to play some mage. <laughs> let's uh let's skip this. Can we can we skip this? What if we just, what if we continue? Does it dump us off after, after we saved that last time? No, not this one. I guess that really is it. We can't really go back here unless we just reload. Uh, there. Hmm. We'll save here though. Yeah, overall I was a. Uh, I was quite happy with the game. How long did that say we were playing for? I just noticed that as a, uh, a time on it. 22 hours. Yeah, 22 hours it took me to finish this game. And we did what? All of but one side quest. Because I never dressed up and everything for that one chick. And that was it. <laughs> there was only... There was only eight main missions. Eight main missions in this game. There really wasn't a lot. I was expecting... 
I want to say about twice as much content. If I'm being honest. It was good. I d definitely had a lot of fun with the game. There's a lot of things to look at and a lot of things to do, but I don't know, it just felt... Kind of lacking. Well, seeing as we still have two and a half hours to go in the stream, what should I play? <laughs> I can do more Portal 2, if you guys want to watch me play Portal. Oh, you know, I should probably make a, probably wrap up. Not, not wrap up the stream, just the game. But, that was The Outer Worlds. It was good. It's a good game. Anyway, that's, I'll, I'll edit that together later. Hmm. <laughs>